red. All right, so to let them off, all Wait. you do is go, oh, see, that's just water. So all you do to let them off, you take the squid jig like that. Oh, nice, I'm gonna do it again. Turn it side. Hey all, this is Simeon from the Goose Hummock Shop. Uh, just a little quick background, a lot of people don't know that before I worked at the Goose Hummock Shop, where you're all used to seeing me, I was in the restaurant business for over 35 years. So my buddy David Bailey and I, that we work, work together at the Goose, have decided to come together and do a couple of squid recipes for you. Starting from the beginning, walking through the cleaning, and then we're gonna uh, do some little videos here and uh, show you a couple of options that you can do with some of these fresh squid we're now getting. So the first thing you want to do is get a good sharp knife. You're going to take your squid, lay them out on your board, and right in front of the eyes. You're going to want to make, make a cut right close to the eyes, which is going to remove the tentacles. Now, after you have the tentacles removed, sometimes there'll still be a little ink behind the eye, but all you have to do is squeeze the tentacles, and the little beak is going to pop out of the center, just like that. You definitely don't want that. It's crunchy and unpalatable. With some of the summer squid, uh, smaller squid, it's not uh, quite as important, but the long claspers that come up can tend to be on the tough side, so generally I'll take those off because these are the ones that get the most activity on the squid. And you can just put those to the side. Then what you want to do, is hold on to the mantle of the squid, you're going to grab it, put, bury your fingers down inside it a little bit and give a good pull and a twist and pull the insides out. Now if you get a little bit of ink, it's okay. Just run, run it under the sink, rinse it off, rinse out the mantle a little bit. That's all you gotta do. Second thing you wanna do is reach inside and you're gonna feel a little st stiff piece of paper cartilage on the inside. You need to break that membrane loose a little bit and wiggle it and pull it out and Once again, if you get a little ink, it's okay. Just rin rinse it off a little bit because it, it's, it's going to happen eventually. You just start at the base and basically squeeze forward and almost all the guts are going to come, come right out of the inside. If you have to, put a finger inside, scoop everything out. Not really a big deal. You can give it a little bit of a rinse. For those of you who like the skin off, it's very easy to do, it's not, it's not really hard. This is a little pin bone I was talking about on the inside. Your tentacles are already clean, you can put those in your bowl. Next thing you wanna do is take the fins off of the outside, which basically you can just grab and tear back. These are edible, but once again, these can be uh, pretty tough because they get a lot of movement in the water. So you just want to take and remove those. Sometimes you have to give them a little cut and they, and they peel right off. Now if you want to skin them, you just lay the tube down, take your knife and scrape everything forward. And all the skin is going to come right off of the mantle. You do one side and then the other side, just like that. Now you can do, now from here you can proceed two ways. You can start cutting this into rings to make fried calamari or to put in your spaghetti sauce or you can open it right up, uh, score it very finely, and do it on the grill very quickly. When I say quickly, about 30 seconds on each side. You go much more than a minute, it's gonna get very tough. Squid either needs to be cooked one minute or one hour. And that's it. Hey everybody, David Bailey here from the Goose Hummock. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to prepare squid ceviche, or ceviche, depending on how you like to pronounce it. Um, first thing I did a little bit of a little while ago, I've got half a red onion, 
uh, half a red bell pepper, a little bit of garlic, and some fresh parsley. And this is mixed with four tablespoons of lime juice and four tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Uh, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, and black pepper. Um, this has been setting for about 20 minutes to let the vegetables in, uh, absorb the marinade. Now from this, I'm gonna take three squid. Um, these have all been cleaned ahead of time, ready to go. Uh, squid are great because they're lower in saturated fat than uh, beef. They're high in magnesium and they're an anti-inflammatory. So these are very good for um, if you're tired, run down, achy muscles. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do this in little strips. So I'm cutting the mantles in half. And then with a sharp knife, just cutting up thin strips. Okay. Again, you can use the tentacles and stuff for this too, but I prefer just the mantle meat because it takes up less uh, room in the, in the marinade. Okay, now we're gonna add the cut squid meat to the vegetable with the lime juice and the vinegar. Okay, mix this all together. Now there's no cooking involved in this dish. That may scare some of you away, but what happens is the acid in the lime juice and the vinegar cooks the meat. So some of you might have had shrimp ceviche or conch, uh, same principle. All right, so that's all mixed up. Now what we're gonna do is put this in the fridge and let it set for about half hour and it's gonna be ready for our appetizer. We've got our ceviche that's set in the marinade for about half an hour. The, uh, the acid has cooked the uh, squid for us. Now we're gonna take a few just cherry, fresh cherry tomatoes, throw those right in. Uh, just cut them up in halves. Uh, if you use a larger tomato, like a plum tomato or something like that, you're gonna to wanna to cut it into smaller portions. Um, you don't wanna put the tomatoes into the marinade early um, when we put the shrimp and uh, the squid in because the acid will break the tomatoes down too quickly and you're just gonna end up with a, a very thin uh, ceviche. Fresh flat leaf parsley. Toss this a little bit by hand. And for presentation, I like to use a little martini glass. Okay. Do a little fresh calamari in each one. And then for garnish, just a little lemon slice. We're all set. Enjoy. Hi, this is Simeon again. We're gonna be doing squid prepared for you two ways tonight. The first one I'm gonna do is a grilled squid bruschetta. Um, the prep for both of them is basically the same. I've cleaned the squid and I've opened the mantles up fully. So you have the nice big flat piece. What I'm gonna do is gonna take a very sharp knife and score it very finely, not all the way through, and very light lines going across the body of the squid. This is gonna help both tenderize it and prevent it from curling on the grill. You wanna do it in one direction and then cross hatch it back in the, in the opposite direction. And then that's just going in the bowl. So for the first preparation, what I'm gonna do for the bruschetta, I'm gonna take a nice little virgin olive oil, drizzle it over the squid, I take a little nice Cape Cod sea salt, which is going to complement the squid very nicely. Give that a little sprinkle. A little fresh cracked black pepper. And a little bit of 
chopped Italian parsley, and then just a couple of red chili flakes in there, just to give it a little bit of spice. And then all you're gonna do is take it and toss everything together, and you wanna let it sit for about five minutes before you put it on the grill. And that's it for the first preparation on that. For the second preparation, for the tacos, which we're gonna do, some nice fresh squid tacos, we're gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna take it and cross hatch it very lightly so you're not cutting all the way through. And it does help to have a really sharp knife with this. And it is exactly the same thing. That's gonna go in the bowl. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add a little bit of cumin powder. And this is uh, ground chipotle chili powder. Just a little sprinkle of that, it does have a little zip to it. And then once again, a little bit of the Cape Cod sea salt and a little bit of fresh pepper. And then I'm gonna put a couple of cilantro leaves in there and just break, break them up very finely. And then once again, I'm gonna drizzle it with just a little bit of olive oil just to keep it from sticking to the grill. Toss it just like that. We're gonna let these sit for a minute and I'll see you guys outside at the grill in just a minute. Hey guys, this is Simeon back with you again. I'm outside at the grill now. I've got this baby turned right up. And what I've got going on here, I'm gonna start the bruschetta. I have some very nice uh, French baguette that I've cut up into some oblong pieces. I've drizzled them with some very nice extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of the Cape Cod sea salt, a little bit of black pepper on top. So all we're gonna do is to get these going is take and put them oil side down. Nice and hot and fast because you wanna get them nice and brown without burning and without getting them too crusty. And it's literally on this grill, this is cranked right up on the uh, on this side, so it's literally just gonna take a few seconds. As you can see, they toast right up very quickly. And really, this is all it takes. You can give them a little push down, help them brown up, get some nice grill marks on them. So you wanna get that olive oil side nice and toasted, just a little bit on the opposite side. And really that's it. And this is the beginning of our bruschetta. I'll meet you back here very shortly and we're gonna grill up some squid. Hey, this is Simeon back with you again. I'm back out on the grill. I get this baby cranked right up to almost 600 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grill these squid. This is gonna be for our bruschettas. When it comes time to do the shrimp for the tacos, I'm using exactly the same technique. Um, so basically, you're just gonna open it up. You're gonna take one of these nice marinated bodies you have here. You're gonna throw it on the really hot grill. I'm gonna have some of the tentacles here that are all marinated up. I'm gonna put those on the grill as well. I'm gonna close this lid and I'm gonna to count to 30 or so. Because like I said before, squid eating needs to be cooked very quickly or long and slow. One side or the other, it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna open it up, I'm gonna turn them over. And you see how the little cross hatches I've put in the squid are kind of preventing them from, from curling up. Oh man, I wish you guys could smell this, it smells so good. Nothing like fresh squid and a little bit of seawater and it's a nice little marinade, it's beautiful. The tentacles can be tough sometimes. Um, they wanna fall through the grill, but as long as you put them across the grill, you're gonna be just fine. So once again, I'm gonna close the lid for just a little bit. Once you do this a few times, you can learn to listen to them. I can hear them popping and snapping on the inside. You know when it starts getting real rough, it is time to pull them off the grill. We're gonna pop it back open again. I'm gonna give these tentacles just one quick turn. 
because they generally take just a little bit longer than the bodies. I'm going to give them one more quick little flip, just like that, and get some nice grill marks on them. Maybe another 10 seconds. We're going to take the bodies, take, take them right off the grill. And then I'm going to go inside. When I come back, we're going to show you how to assemble these bruschetta. And I'll give you a little history behind the recipe for these. We'll talk to you soon. This is Simeon back inside again here with our grilled bruschetta that we have. And now we're going to construct one of these for you. So we're going to take one of our little pieces of toast here that we did on the grill. And what I have here are some uh, cooked cannellini beans that are mixed with roasted garlic, lemon zest, olive oil, and a little salt and pepper. And I've basically uh, just pureed these up. So what I'm going to do is take a little spoonful of these and I'm going to spread them on top of the uh, toasted bruschetta. Just like that, make a nice little even layer. And then I'm going to take a nice piece of our, our grilled squid. I'm going to put it on top. Maybe one little piece of, of body, one little piece of the tentacle on top. Okay. And then next, I'm on top, I'm, these are roasted, marinated artichoke carts that I did a little bit earlier. I'm going to put a couple little pieces on top of this right here. A little bit of fresh sliced cherry tomato, just like that. And then I've got some pieces of grilled scallion here that I did on the grill with just a little salt, pepper, and olive oil. I'm going to place a little piece of that on top. Now what we're going to do is take a lemon and a little microplane, and we're going to zest just a little bit of lemon zest on top of that. That's all you need. And then we're going to finish it with a little bit of that really nice olive oil. And then we're going to finish it with a fresh marjoram leaf. Right on top, just like this. And that's going to add a nice, nice little her herby bite to the end of it. If you'd like, you could also finish it off with, with a little, little bit of that Cape Cod sea salt on top as well. Just for a little bit of crunch and a little bit of extra salt. And this is our grilled calamari and fava bean bruschetta. All right, guys, I'm back here. Uh, we're going to assemble one of these uh, squid tacos I was telling you about a little bit earlier. I've pre-grilled my tortillas. I've got them on just under a nice dry cloth just to keep them a little bit warm. Now, you can do these either. You can do them singly or you can dub double them up like this, which some people like to do because it uh, grabs a little, little bit of the juice and, and holds on to it. First thing I'm going to do is take some of our grilled chopped calamari. I'm going to put a little bit in the bottom of the taco right here. Just like that. Now I've got my roasted corn and tomato salsa that I made a little bit earlier. You can use your favorite store-bought salsa or any kind of salsa you like. And you just want to smear just a little bit in there. The corn is nice, roasted, it sweetens it up a little bit, gives it a nice little crunch. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this avocado and I'm just going to take my spoon right here and I already have this pre-scored for us. I'm going to take it right out of the shell, take a couple of nice slices, lay it across the top, just like that. I'm going to take some of these nice grilled scallions, but all I did is a little bit of olive oil, a little salt and pepper, put them on the hot grill for about five minutes. Just adds a nice little charred flavor to the taco and brings out that uh, flavor of the squid just, just a little bit. Next, I've got some crumbled queso fresco. You can pick it up in the cheese section of basically any store. You're going to give a little sprinkle of that on top. Just like that. And then just a couple of fresh leaves of cilantro on top of that. Just like that right there. And then just a little drizzle of fresh lemon on top of that. And this is your squid tacos with grid, grilled scallions queso fresco, and avocado. Get out there and enjoy all the bounty that our Atlantic has to give to us 
and take advantage of it. It's really such a good thing. And you can feed yourself and your families for very inexpensive and really have a good time doing it. We hope to be seeing you again. Hi everybody, David again. Next thing we're gonna do is stuff squid with a red pepper sauce. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is get the squid ready uh, to put on the grill. Uh, so we've, again, we've cleaned our squid, the quill is taken out, they're all cleaned and ready to go, taking the skin off. This is a mixture that I've done earlier. Um, it's half a red bell pepper, half of a uh, red onion, a little bit of chopped garlic, uh, salt and pepper, and fresh parsley. Uh, we've browned off the sausage. Uh, I used a spicy Italian sausage this time. Um, and we've let this cool so we can handle it. Now for this recipe, you wanna keep this, the mantle whole. Um, and everything's been cleaned out. So now you're gonna take the sausage and stuff this into the mantle. Um, you can do this with a pastry bag if you have uh, a large opening on the, on the nozzle. It's just as easy with the bigger squid uh, to do it by hand. Okay, you're gonna force that down inside, fill up the entire squid. Okay, top it off. Okay, and we're gonna take these. All right, I have a nice little seafood rub that I use that's got a little mustard seed, tarragon, dried basil. So I'll take these and just rub them down a little bit with the rub. Okay, and then after we have a few more of those set up, we're gonna drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil and then these will get charred off on the grill and then we'll finish them up later. Hi everybody, we're back with the stuffed squid. All right, these are the squid that I stuffed earlier with the sausage, red pepper and onion and garlic mix. Um, now with smaller squid, you could actually stuff them right ahead of time with raw sausage. Um, since these are bigger squid, I, I went ahead and cooked the sausage off ahead of time and then stuffed them up. Drizzled them with a little bit of olive oil and then our seafood rub. And then I'm gonna put these right onto the hot grill. Let them score right up. Like I said, the sausage inside is already pre-cooked. So all we're doing is just warming that up. Um, and again, like Simeon said earlier, squids, you either cook really fast or really long time. So again, we're just gonna mark them up, get them going on the grill a little bit. Another thing you do is closing your lid actually retains the heat. And not only are you grilling, you're baking at the same time. Keep turning the skid, the squid. Try to get marks on all sides. Okay, about ready here. Now you can see the squid's cooked. Um, you don't have as much trouble with the curling and stuff as you do with the bigger squid by keeping it whole. And what the, uh, the mantle or the body of the squid is actually doing now, um, is tightening up and holding all that stuffing in. Okay, about ready here. Now you can see the squid's nice and good, charred up, get a little markings on it. Okay, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this off on our plate. And we'll take this inside and plate it up with our red pepper sauce. All right, everybody, we're back with the squid that we just grilled off. Now I'm gonna take these, slice them nice and thick, so you make bite-sized portions. We'll put these on the plate, still hot off the grill. We'll make sure all this stuffing stays in. Now at this point, you can either add your favorite marinara sauce or your favorite red sauce. Uh, I personally like this uh, Portuguese red pepper sauce. It's got just enough heat to it. 
and a little bit of tang. We'll just dribble that over all of them. And have a little fresh flat leaf parsley. That's it, we're ready to serve. Hi everybody, David back again. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do for our entree is a fried calamari. I'm doing a little twist on this dish. Um, I'm adding pepperoncinis, which we're gonna bread and fry up with them. And then we have a sriracha mayo that we made up for them. Uh, a little bit of background on breading. Uh, as I was explaining to someone earlier, uh, you go by the old adage that opposites attract. Uh, you don't want to do a dry mix to a dry mix or a wet mix to a wet mix because they're not going to stick to each other. So you want to go dry mix to a wet mix to a dry mix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the wet calamari and wet pepperoncinis. I'm going to go to a dry mix of a cornstarch. Now I use cornstarch instead of flour because cornstarch is what is used in tempura batters and it gives it a crispier little texture. Um, so that's my dry mix. Next I'm going to go to an egg wash which is just a beaten egg uh, with a little bit of water or milk if you care to. Um, that's going to be my wet mix and then the final dry mix I'm using just a, a Chinese panko breadcrumb. Um, these are great and crispy. You can use a regular seasoned breadcrumb if you'd like. Um, the other tip on doing a three, tip method, three dip method is de designate a hand. Have a dry hand, have a wet hand. That way you're not ending up with these Mickey Mouse gloves. So right hand's going to be my wet hand, left hand's going to be my dry hand. So I'm going to take the wet calamari, drop it into the cornstarch, take my dry hand, coat it, shake off the excess, Drop that into the egg wash. Now go back to my wet hand, dredge that in the egg wash, get it nice and coated. All right, and then I'm going to drop those, dipping off the extra excess egg wash. Okay, I'm going to go back to my dry hand and coat them in the panko breadcrumbs. Okay. Now as far as the pepperoncinis, you're basically going to do the same thing. Take the pepperoncinis, roll them in the cornstarch. And again, remember your wet hand, dry hand. Take the pepperoncinis, drop them into the egg wash. Coat them with the egg. Again, then drop them into the panko. Again, we'll lay these out. Now you're going to want to do them all at the same time and get them ready. And then once you have them all breaded, what we're going to do then is drop them into a deep fryer. Okay, we've got all the calamari and the uh, pepperoncinis breaded and ready to go. Uh, we've got our fryer up to 375. Um, you can use the standard vegetable oil in a, a deep saute pan. Uh, we've got a nice little electric fry later here. Uh, you can do a fry daddy, anything like that. Anything that the uh, the squid and the pepperoncinis are going to get immersed in and covered. You don't want to be turning them. They're not going to cook evenly that way. Um, so what we're going to do is take our basket, get it over the fryer. Uh, we're going to start dropping these in a few at a time. Um, again, you want to make sure they don't stick together, don't clump too much. Okay, now again, the calamari are quite quick. Uh, these should just take a few seconds to cook. All right, while those are cooking, let me tell you about this other 
I just made a simple sriracha mayo. Uh, this is just a regular store-bought mayonnaise um, with a Chinese sriracha sauce and a little bit of lemon juice. Uh, mix it about two to one uh, mayo to sriracha sauce and just a little squeeze of lemon juice and you're good to go. Uh, you can also use a uh, cocktail sauce if you prefer. So get that all set. Okay, shake these off. I usually like to dump them into another container so you're not dumping them right to the, the plate. Okay, and we'll plate these up. A little fresh flat leaf parsley to garnish. And you're all set. Hey, this is Phil from The Goose. As we showed you earlier, um, this was caught actually at Hyannis last night um, by us and the guys and, and friends and family, boyfriends, girlfriends, etc. Proves that you can catch some fantastic eating fish right on your doorstep, right from the harbour. You don't need a boat, you don't need complex gear. You know? There's nothing better than utilizing these fresh fish that we have at this time of the year. Go out and get them, stop in and see us to pick up all your gear and hope everybody enjoys this recipe. All right, guys, come on down and try it. Fantastic effort. I want to thank uh, Chef Simeon and Chef David, members of Team Goose, um, who have cooked some wonderful squid recipes for us tonight. They look complex, they look fantastic, they're actually really easy to do. They'll be on our website, they'll be on our YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, you better follow us everywhere. Um, I want to say thank you very much to our uh, test crash dummies over here. Yeah. Um, who have followed members of my team and their partners who have actually been eating this stuff tonight. Um, it's really good guys, uh, what I want to say to everybody, this is the first of many this year, we're going to be doing this every couple of weeks, we're going to try and go through the season and we're going to try and show everybody the food that we have to offer on Cape Cod because we think it's the best you can get. Um, thanks very much for watching, we are Team Goose, signing off, thank you. Thanks guys.